What's going on everyone, we're just poppin', I'm back on Showdown, and ever since I used that Metal Sound Zapdos on the last vid, I had some suggestions to do Articuno and Moltres ones next, so I figured I'd bring the best Articuno set into the OU tier. Before I show y'all the team, I'd like for each and every one of you to leave a comment, so we can now play the algorithm together. Name an Ice-type Pokemon you really like, and your favorite Ice-type move. I'd like to know, and I always look forward to reading all the comments, as usual. Take a look at the team though, we got Articuno with the heavy duty boots so we don't take 50% from rocks. Of course, and uh, Miracode. Miracode, I have to tell you about this move right here because this Pokemon has a pretty good spadef, right? He's got 125 spadef, 90 HP. You're able to tank things like a an attack from Coco and Miracode. You can tank a Specs Draco Meteor, of course. Uh, but most importantly, you can tank Magma Storm from Heatran and knock it out with Miracode. And the cool thing about that is if you pair it with Volcarona, you know, Volcarona does not appreciate any kind of Heatran. So if you knock out Heatran with Miracote, Volcarona can go in easily. And so, of course, you know, we have Freeze Dry the best ice type attack, hits water types super effectively, very nice attack. Um, Toxic Roost is pretty good to break down a fatter Pokemon or a Pokemon that we can't break through. And of course, with pressure, it makes it very uh, difficult for our opponents to just keep spamming moves over and over due to it uh, reducing more moves than usual. And then um, we have enough speed to outrun like Max Speed Adamant Crowdont which is pretty good because uh, we want to be able to Oko that and outrun it. And then of course, um, 152 special attack lets us break Kiram's sub, so we can actually break its sub and then toxic it. And uh, yeah, really Bokemon still has some pretty good offenses and can still sponge special attacks really well for our team. Um, Volcarona paired with that so that we can uh, set up and sweep versus a lot of teams, especially after we get rid of Heatran. Really nice Pokemon overall. And Safeguard helps us out versus Blissey and stuff. Setting up versus any Mon that has Toxic. Uh, then we have Zamazenta because Articuno and Volcarona don't appreciate Tyranitar. And um, Zamazenta is just great at getting rid of those Pokemon. Those uh, Pokemon that can be annoying for these two and allow it to function properly. Um, speaking of another Pokemon that could give these Pokemon trouble, uh, I guess Toxapex could be annoying. So I put Primarina on the team with Whirlpool and Parish Song. So we can bait in Toxapex on the Water Move or something or on the Fairy Move and trap it with uh, with Whirlpool, Parish Song, and eliminate that Pokemon so that Volcarona can set up, or Zamazenta can also go in a lot easier when um, Primarina is getting rid of walls for our team. That uh, would be annoying. Um, we have Lando T, which is there for Stealth Rocks, pretty good Pokemon with Rocky Helmet, and then finally Hydreigon, which is a nice Shadow Ball switch in. Pokemon that can uh, check a bunch of stuff in the tier while being able to defog and remove hazards from our side. And that's gonna be the team, let's just go ahead and hop into a game, see how Articuno can do for the first one, hopefully we get some nice uh, Miracote action that would be very ideal. Um, and hopefully in the first game as well. well, we'll see though, but I'm pretty sure we'll make Articuno put in some work. And um, yeah, we got a T-Tar matchup here, gonna still lead Articuno either way. I think should be uh, should be the play, should be the play, but we definitely have our work cut out for us here. Could potentially, why is he still here? <laughs> I assume he's talking about Zamazenta, but <laughs> yeah, oh, check this out. Oh, actually, wait a second. He could go into the wrong Pokemon. Oh, no, he doesn't. He stays in. Ooh. <laughs> oh, nice. I could Toxic here. On the Roost. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, Not bad at all. Now this is where I go into Landris. And then, uh, I guess Smackdown here should be the play. Nice. So Zapdos is gone. That's uh, pretty good for Zamazenta. Pretty good indeed. So versus this Salamence, I could probably go Primarina on this thing just to see what he wants to do. He will Shadow Ball here. There could be Choice Specs. Um, Gonna whirlpool this Ferrothorn, but we unfortunately do not trap it. That is a shame. Um, let me try again. Maybe he doesn't have Power Whip, so this could potentially work. Oh, he does. Okay. Okay, okay. Um. So then what would our play be? Our play would be to go Zamazenta. And then he's forced out, right? So what we can do is go into... Um, could go Articuno here, perhaps. Or I could just Behemoth Bash into Landers. 
a behemoth into Landorus. That's an offensive Landorus, it seems. Um, so I'm going to attack again. As he turns out, into who? Ah, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn it is. Which shouldn't be a, too much of an issue. I'm just going to go Volcarona here. Landorus comes back. And then I can go into my own Landorus on this. As he does Stone Edge. Now, I um, think I just want to Earthquake for some damage here. Yep, hit that Ferrothorn up for some decent chip. And then, uh, I think just go Volcarona here. Double out into Landers. As Titar comes in, beautiful, beautiful. If I hit this up, that'll be pretty nice. Yeah, I get some nice damage there. Um, yeah, weakening this thing is going to be amazing. I'm going to get rocks up here. So now I'm just going to U-turn out. As he stone edges, does not knock us out. So he's locked into that. We can go into Zamazenta right now. Um, perhaps I could just uh, close combat here. Ooh, but he makes a nice, nice little mid ground there. He goes into a Dragapult. Mm. Check this play out. Let's go Hydreigon on this. Very nice. Now Finny's gonna come in here, right? So all we gotta do. Let's go Articuno. Go right into Articuno here and Roost. And then Freeze Dry. <laughs> pretty nice, pretty nice. So that we are faster than this Pokemon, which is great. He's a more defensive set, I guess. So Ferrothorn comes in. Does not take the Freeze Dry too well. I can just go for it again. I did significantly less this time. But I can... Uh, oh, he has Protect as well. Ooh. Unfortunate. He is that set with Protect. Didn't think he'd be Protect, though, but... That's fine. Uh, Titar comes in. All I gotta do here is uh, go Landorus as he stone edges. And then he goes Zamazenta. And I think I can just uh, close combat here. Knock out Ferrothorn once and for all. So that's good. So I think it's good to keep Zamazenta around. Ferrothorn being gone is pretty nice. We got to see some Articuno action there. Unfortunately, he did go for like a Discharge or something. Then he would have gotten knocked out. All right, this thing comes in now, though. Um, hmm. What to do? What to do? So I think our play would be to... Probably... Honestly, I don't think we really need Volcarona in this matchup. So I'm going to sack it. So let him Shadow Ball to knock us out here. Actually, now I can even just go Hydreigon if I wanted. Uh, but Finny comes in. Very nice, very nice. So all we gotta do is uh, a special attack fell, but I don't think it matters too much. Because I can just roost here. And then just freeze dry what's in front of me. So Titar will come in, take rocks chip, and freeze dry chip. That's good chip. He does have leftovers though. Um, so I just sack Volcarona like I planned before. Then go into uh, Zamazenta. We can Behemoth Bash whatever's in front of us. So that's nice. And if there's no special attack drop next time, we can knock, we can knock out Titar from this range. Yeah, so this Pokemon should be dead. Uh, so that's gone. This guy comes in. All we do now is sack... Sack something here. I think Hydreigon. We can go into that. Draco Meteor. Ooh, ooh. Successful dodge. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Of course, he gets so mad. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered, right? Because I'm just going to go in Articuno after that. Oops, my caps lock. <laughs> my caps lock. All right, nice. Let's uh, just Moonblast here. Get some additional chip damage on this thing. Yeah, special attack drop on both. Now I can go into uh, my Articuno pretty safely, pretty safely here. As he, uh, Nature's Madness. I'm gonna Roost here. As Titar comes in. Freeze Dry probably cannot take it out. I don't think it can. Um. Hmm. The play, the play. The plays. Uh, let's see. Titar is a bit of an issue. All I think I gotta really do is, um...
can go Hydreigon here. And then Earth Power now. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Got rid of Titar. Pretty sure that would not have mattered. 26%, pretty sure it does more. Because I am modest. So now this thing comes in, all we do here is we go into, um, or we could just, uh, we could just attack with Earth Power. He tries to nature's madness. The madness, the madness. Now Articuna comes in and has some fun. <laughs> ah, good game. I'm going to end off with a mirror coat. Good game. GG. Ah, not bad, not bad. So we came through with the Articuno in the first game and got the thumbnail text that we always wanted. That we always wanted. <laughs> continuing on, continuing on. As always. So definitely a big game for Articuno in that one. It put in a lot of work. Yeah, it gave him a lot of trouble <laughs> to his team. So let's see here. Okay, up against a team where Articuno actually might put in some work. It actually might. So I'm going to lead with it immediately. See what happens. Um, Samazenta looks pretty good. Landers could get chipped down a bunch. Yeah, this definitely looks like the kind of game where Articuno could potentially Magma Storm, or not Magma Storm, potentially Mirror Coat back the Magma Storm. That's what I was trying to say there. Um, but not bad. Okay. Kind of curious to see what he wants to lead with here. His team doesn't look very threatening in particular, but we could like Perish Song, Suicune. We have answers for Rillaboom and for uh, Heatran as well. Unless it's like Specs Heatran or something, then it could be annoying, but hopefully uh, Articuno can come through. Actually, maybe Clef's the biggest, uh, the scariest Pokemon because it could maybe do some scary stuff. All right, this guy needs to decide what he wants to lead with there. His name is Six Casualties, but the only casualty I see is his entire team. <laughs> That's the only one I see. Ah, he's decided to make his move. Very nice. Uh, so Clef is the lead. Interesting lead for sure. Um, I guess I could just... Uh, I could go Primarina here. Is he actually just Moonblast straight up? Which is fine. Gonna Whirlpool here. Whatever wants to come in. Or he could even just stay in with this thing. If he does not have Teleport, then it's dead. Yeah. So this thing should be dead now. <laughs> Moonblast Thunderwave, I don't believe he'd have Teleport at all. Yeah, so he's forced to click Moonblast repeatedly. Perish Song has been active. And this thing should be trapped. I could try to protect again if I want. Yep, beautiful. And he's probably going to T-Wave here, so I'm going to go into Landorus. Or not, he just Moonblasts. Okay, cool. So we eliminated the Clefable turn one with the Paris Trap um, Primarina. That was definitely, uh, definitely worth it there. Nice, nice. Primarina is paralyzed though, unfortunately, but still no big deal. So here, he'll probably go into either Rillaboom or Suicune or his own Landers to get up rocks or something. But because he has Suicune, we can't just immediately win with Volcarona. Right after getting rid of a Heatran or something. Suicune is the answer, okay. Okay. I'm going to U-turn out here. It looks like he's a bit bulky. So we go Primarina on this. <laughs> Hit him up with the song real quick. Yo, you cannot... Oh, I see. You cannot protect yourself from Parish Song, that's for sure. So he goes Rillaboom. Smart choice on his part to uh, try to run away. I wonder if uh, Parish Song actually gets uh, pressured. That'd be kind of interesting. Then we gotta use it sparingly. 
So he grassy glides here. That's fine. That's fine. I'm actually going to double into Articuno predicting Landorus to come in. And then he's going to go into Heatran as I freeze dry. And then after that, I'm going to Mirror Coat <laughs> on his Magma Storm. No, that's the wrong move. <laughs> oh no. The wrong move. Go for it now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, let's go. <laughs> ah, worth it. That was absolutely worth it. <laughs> Yo, this man really tried to outplay. He toxic the first two, Magma Storm, and we still lived after two toxic rounds. That's Articuno. That's the power of Articuno. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, what more can you hope for? What more can I say? Landers comes in here. Nice, nice. Let's just you turn out of this. Well, I'm not sure what his set is, but looks to be maybe defensive. So he says a rocks here. Let's just defog. I assume he'll want to switch out now, or I guess not. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess with U turn. Didn't think he would want to take like a Drake or something from this. So Manda buzzes in. Um, Premier and does kind of wall it. So I'm just going to go into that. As I'm sure he'll go into Rillaboom or something. So now all we got to do really is just get the flame body on it. Ah, uh, Landers comes in though, huh? I guess I go into U and then... Uh, I guess just Dark Pulse here. Get some damage. We just a Toxic here. Not bad, not bad. Actually, this, weakening this is amazing for... Uh, oh, of course he gets the crit. Of course he got the crit, of course. Um, I'm gonna go Volk on this thing then, I guess, or you could also knock here. Yeah, I guess he knocked, right? Oh, you turns out, okay. So we got rid of rocks though, that's pretty good. Landers comes in. Let me just bring in Zamazenta here. Behemoth Bash, whatever's in front of us. I guess, uh, okay, Mandibus comes in. Let's howl. Let's howl like the moon. Like the, like, <laughs> howl like uh, we're howling to the moon or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Landers could come back in, but then I'm just at the same attack as before. Which is uh, pretty fine, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Gonna just attack here. Mandibuzz is gone, but I'm actually going to Howl again. So that we can uh, keep our attack up. Because if he goes back to Landers, that's fine. So he's getting chipped back. I mean, that's okay. I'm not worried about it too much. Not too worried at all. We'll just attack here. Yep. Ooh, we lived. Nice survival there. Now all we gotta do is close combat this. Um, Landor is still alive though. <laughs> that Pokemon is still alive. So Suicune comes in now. All we gotta do here is... Um, we go Primarina on this. He tries to Scald. We can just uh, Moonblast now, I think. Should be our play. I don't think Protect can stop Perish Song, so... I think still Moonblasting is the is the finest of plays. Yeah, that does 57. Good lord. Let's go Volcarona here. Maybe try to get a Flame Body on this thing. Could be uh, potentially nice. This was, a, this was another fantastic game for Articuno, though. <laughs> Mirror coating the Heatran is uh, is absolutely amazing. Oh, burn this thing. No flame body. No justice. So it's cool because we can perish song if he just tries to get behind subs and stuff. Um, he just tries to scald though, which is absolutely fine. 
So yeah, he's gonna sub. Um, all right, I'll just uh, Paris Trap you. Wait until you switch and knock out whatever comes in. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, okay, so unfortunately I've not been able to move yet. And I've not been able to move yet once again. But he's not doing enough damage to me. And of course now the Paris Song happens, so yeah. Um, would have been nice to at least know he was going to switch out. But that's fine. So he's doing pretty well so far. Landers comes in here. Um, I'm going to Moonblast you right now. So he could get up rocks if he wants to, but... I mean, eliminating this thing is pretty good. He's already uh, got lucky a couple times already with the Suicune and the Paralysis. But still, I think we can win this. Pretty sure we can win this game. Yeah, he U-turns out, doesn't get up rocks or anything. That's good. That's good. Always a good sign. Now, Rillaboom comes in. Ooh. Get a nice Moonblast on this. And then I'm going to go Lando for the Rocky Helmet. Which I don't think he knows about just yet. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So this thing is gone. Which means that Primarina just wins the game now. <laughs> At this point in time. Primarina can just win. Pretty sure. Because uh, now his Rillaboom is gone. So he doesn't have a, a way of breaking through all the other Mons. Especially Primarina. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I could even say I could even drop a GG early, but I won't. Let's just you turn out here. It's a very good game. You turn out into Primarina. All we gotta do now is uh Parish Song here, up of course. I'm getting par paralyzed all over again. I'm gonna Moonblast right now, actually. Because I'm pretty sure he'll just switch out or something. <laughs> Every time I don't want the full pair, I get it. I feel you, I feel you. But I, I, don't, I don't want the pairs either. Um, oh yeah, it is pressure. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So all we do is stay in here. Now what we do is... Um, we, uh, let's see. Then we go Volcar Runner here. S then we go into, let's see, Zamazenta here. And Behemoth. So now he's forced to go into Landers, right? Which means that we bring back in Primarina and Parish Song once more to win the game. And he sacks this instead, which is nice. <laughs> which is fantastic. So we can win the game now. That's going to be GG. Good game. Solid, solid game overall. Really got to see uh, Articuno do a lot of fun stuff in the first two games with... Uh, just being a great Pokemon in the first one and mirror coding in the second game. That was so funny though, he toxic twice. Then thinking, oh he'll no he'll knock us out now or he'll catch us on the third one. <laughs> but nah, Articuno's a beast. Articuno's an absolute boss. Um, you love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. But wow, that's uh pretty nice I must say. Maybe another uh, Articuno game will be uh, will be quite fantastic if we can get that. Um, this one yeah, might be an Articuno game, maybe. I mean, he's got some threats for sure. Uh, Tornadus lead. Let's just uh, toxic this thing. Put something on a timer. So it'll knock off my boots. That's fine. Actually, it, it's perfectly fine because... <laughs> He doesn't have Stealth Rocks on his team. <laughs> he doesn't have Stealth Rocks at all. So I'm fine with that. 
All right, Slowking is in here. So what we got to do here is, uh, I guess we could go Hydreigon. Seems like a fine option. As he will try to Sludge Bomb us. Which is all right, which is all right. Dark Pulse for some chip. Doing absolutely nothing though. Kind of crazy. Ah, nice flinch, nice flinch. Let me just roost here. Heal up. Now this thing, of course, you know, being uh, oh, really bulky. He actually knocks off here. Why is this thing so slow? <laughs> Very bulky Pokemon. So Slow King is back. I just roost here. I beat this thing 1v1. I mean, he could just keep regening though, of course, but you know. Maybe I'll get up rocks at some point too. Yeah, I think I should get rocks up. Slow King is back. Um, I'll just attack you with this nice Dark Pulse here. I'm actually going to go Landers here. Does he Sludge Bomb Poisons? That's fine. Going to get rocks up now. Uh, he could Defog if he wants, but you know, it's fine. He actually stays in. Oh. I will uh, hard switch out here into Primarina. As Tornadus comes in. So our plan right now is to... Um, well, this thing is actually going to be really good versus him. I'm going to protect. He's going to want to U-turn out, right? So... I'm going to Landers here. On that. As Slow King comes in, we get knocked out here. We can go Zamazenta here. I think uh, Moltres would come in now. Pretty sure. So what we do is we we howl. Oh, I guess Buzzle comes in here. Let me go Volcarona. So if we get rid of Dragonite, Volcarona wins straight up. Oh shoot, I forgot uh, Toxic. Um, forgot about that one. I think we should be okay. We should be okay. Ooh, nice and freeze, nice and freeze. But he can he can just thaw with uh with scald and stuff. Tornado is taking some nice chip. That's always fun. Just need a good mirror code on something would be nice. I'm just going to roost up now. Miracle from this range would knock him out if we heal up enough. So this could be pretty good. He would spam flamethrower, I guess. Uh, ooh, maybe he flamethrowers here. Maybe he flamethrowers. Oh no, he future sights. Unfortunate. It looks like he does have defog there as well. Who goes Amazenta here? Behemoth, this Pokemon. Buzzwell comes in. I guess I just go Primarina. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can trap this thing. Let's see. Perhaps. Could work. If I live enough turns. Yeah, I can actually. Ooh. That works. <laughs> that actually works. So let's knock out this Pokemon here. Should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't think uh, I would be taking that much. Uh, damage from it. So Slowking is gone. Big, uh, big part of his pivot, regenerator pivot. That's uh, that's fantastic. Earth Power here should be the play. 
Yup, the whole team is breaking down now. <laughs> Ooh, that team is giving me some trouble though. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, Dragonite's in though. This thing is a problem. Um, doubles out here. Oh, maybe this is a defensive one with Heal Bell. Oh, not got rid of that Pokemon next. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Dragonite's in now. Oh, he's like a bulkier Dragon Dance. I guess maybe with Roost. Uh, okay, okay. Do Wing Beats. Perfect. He knocks out that one instead. I wonder if he's staying. Ooh, yes. Yes, he does. And we got rid of this Pokemon. And that's amazing, amazing. All we do now is uh, Wild Charge this. Go right into... um. So this is a regular poison, not a sludge bomb poison. Okay. Oh, no, not a toxic poison. Hydreigon can come in here in Dark Pulse. As Buzzwell comes in, we have a Volcarona that we can go into. Pretty safely, I think. As he roosts up. Uh, let me just go back into Hydreigon here, I think. Or... Um, hmm. Could go Articuno and roost. Pretty sure I live this hit. It's mirror code here. <laughs> yes. Ah, Articuno, come through, beat the Moltres. You ever seen an Articuno beat a Moltres? <laughs> Not bad at all. And all we gotta do now is just freeze dry this for some damage and then win the game with uh, Volcarona and win this entire game. Ah. So whatever we did worked, and I'm happy about that. Definitely a uh, trickier team to face, but I guess I underestimated Primarina. That Pokemon is fantastic. <laughs> that Pokemon trapped and knocked out Galarian Slowking. You uh, absolutely love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. <laughs> yeah, this is probably the best Articuno showcase I could have hoped for. Um, it put in so much work throughout uh, these games. But maybe we get like one or two more until we get to that uh, 40 minute, around that 40 minute mark or so. Quite nice. <laughs> Quite nice. I always have had faith in Articuno, always. I mean, Articuno beat Heatran, it beat Moltres, it beat a bunch of other stuff too. Dragapult and things like that. Uh, where's this game at? Let's try again. Sometimes it uh, takes a while to find a game. But hopefully, uh, we can get a good one here and there. Um, ah, there we go. Okay. So Articuno might put in some work here, possibly. I mean, we see a bunch of Mons Week to freeze dry, and we also see. Uh, <laughs> have fun, have fun. Alright. So Slowking lead. Let's put a timer on this thing. So if we Toxic the Slowking, that means that Volcarona can continuously set up over it and not have to waste uh, flamethrowers or worry about any of that sort. So definitely I think Toxic is the play here. Um, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm going to start a timer. Get this nice uh, Toxic. Start the timer and put the timer on this Pokemon, of course. Freeze Dry here. As he'll teleport out into Coco, but check this play out. He's gonna dazzling gleam here. We're gonna mirror coat. <laughs> ah, so this is definitely not choice specs. That's for sure. Choice specs. Coco would have done a bit more. So we go Landers now. You turn out here. As he actually will, you turn out himself. Take that nice chip damage. Go into Corviknight, and then we just go Articuno and. Uh, heal ourselves up here pretty safely I think Let's see what what he does here brave birds yep yep can just roost up again and uh, now we're in a pretty good spot I would say pretty solid spot here Garchomp comes in he probably does have stone edge so I'm going to switch out into uh, Lando T but Weavile comes in oh Weavile so I go Zamazent on this. 
And then what I got to do here is um, double to Volcarona, triple into Articuno. Oh, but he, I know he's got the Stone Edge. I know he's got the Stone Edge, though. <laughs> I know he does. Gonna just Earthquake here. I thought he might have rocks on this and want to go for it, but I guess not. I get my own rocks up, actually. And then uh, let's just switch out here into Articuno. And just freeze dry now. Get some nice and clean chip damage off on this thing. Put it in range of other attacks here and there. Um, I'm going to freeze dry here. Ooh, okay, okay. I lived that hit. I could have knocked it out, but I, I decided to Toxic here instead. Figured that would be fine. Um, yeah, that should be all right for now. For now. So you'll roost up. You can just U-turn uh, out here. Because I'm pretty sure he would switch out here. Yeah, into Corviknight. So now we get to heal up our Articuno once again. <laughs> you already know. Get to heal this thing up. So he's Brave Bird. You turn Defog Roost. So we can heal you up. And I'm just going to heal myself up once again. So we know that Thunderbolt did 66.3, which means that we can just Miracle to knock out Coco if we wanted. So Garchomp's in though. Okay, okay. I think I just go into Landers here. He will Swords Dance and be a threat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Check this play out though. Check this play out. I'm gonna go Primarina. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Check that play out. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yep. See, I would have been able to knock that out because he went for two Stone Edges there. The crit definitely, definitely mattered um, quite a bit. Well, at least he doesn't have uh, the other stuff. Scale shot. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, go ahead and you turn out again, I guess. Um, yeah. He's going to keep doing that. Oh, that's all the damage we needed, I think. Zamazenta can probably knock it out now. Oh, he sets up rocks here instead. I can defog that, no problem. Go Zamazenta here. I think I'll just close combat. My Corviknight's nice and bulky. Heal you turn out into somebody. Sloking. Ooh, okay, let me defog then in that case. Why not? I don't know why he went into that. <laughs> just to teleport out. Absolutely fine with that. Yeah, go ahead and Draco, that's fine. Um, now all I gotta do is go Zamazenta and Howl. Which I think will be the play. I guess we know Corviknight's leftovers there. Let's see what he wants to do now. So there's definitely a way we can win this game for sure. Nice. He actually goes into Slowking. We'll just Wild Charge this. Knock it out. Slowking eliminated from existence. Garchomp's weak enough as well for us to do some fun stuff with Volcarona. I just sack Landers here. Go into... Um, I think go into Volk now to win the game. Should be the play. So yeah, I think this should just win us the game. From here on out, um, unless of course he hacks us. Yeah, so guard jumps in. Flamethrower, I think we'll take it out. Should take it out. Yep. And that's GG, I think. We just quiver up once more. So Draco Meteor, yep, GG. Even that would not have taken us out or done close to enough to knock us out. Probably shouldn't be saying GG too early though. 
just in case of hacks, but fortunately for us, we are in a good spot. And we can just flamethrower to win. Yeah, good game, good game. Solid game overall. Ah, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. And I think that's where we're going to end it off for this one. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed seeing Articuno putting in the finest of work. I think this was a really successful Articuno showcase. I was really glad to see it um, knock out a lot of Pokemon and give a lot of teams some trouble. And that was always, uh, always fun to see. But like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments. Um, what kind of Ice-type Pokemon do you like? What's your favorite Ice-type move? Things like that. I like to know. We could outplay the algorithm together. And um, I do love reading all the comments as usual. So I'll see you all on the next video. And peace.